Oh God, it's a nightmare, right? I'm turning this off, going back to the van because this feels dangerous. Again, torrential rain, the risk of local flooding, large hailstones potentially damaging lots of flashes of lightning and rumbles of thunder, not great on the so those are storms, those are lightning strikes over the UK today. There is a weather warning out for thunder and lightning, and this is very exciting. I've never had the chance to photograph lightning before, really, so I think I'm gonna give it a go and go storm chasing. Now, there's no guarantees it's gonna end in any kind of photograph, but I'm gonna film the day anyway and see if anything comes of it. So yeah, this is gonna be an interesting day, let's go. Right, waterproofs, check, tripod, check, umbrella, check, cameras, batteries, memory cards, spare change of clothes, um, some water so I can make some tea and coffee, got my laptop, got my phone, so uh, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, it's exciting, it's like my own storm chasing vehicle, I've always wanted to go in one of those big American things where they chase tornadoes, no, don't get me wrong, we're not getting any tornadoes, but... Maybe we'll get some dramatic clouds. Maybe we'll get a lightning strike if we're super lucky, right? Come on, let's go. So I'm just putting the, putting the kettle on, you know, a cup of tea and a Jaffa cake. Um, I'm at the coast, uh, the northeast coast, because that's where everything was suggesting that the, the highest probability of lightning and thunder was. And I've heard a couple of rum rumbles of thunder, but nothing, nothing really significant. The skies are looking very black, um, but there's no definition in the sky. I was kind of hoping for huge, like, thunder clouds, I don't know, storm clouds, but it's just... Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea, you know, still early, relax for uh, maybe a couple of hours and just keep an eye on things. And if it all kicks off, I'm in the right place, ready to go. So I've been here for a couple of hours now, just relaxing, just observing, reading my book. And I was starting to lose hope, I've got to be honest. The cloud went from dark grey to just kind of white. And I just, I don't know, I have always feel let down by the weather forecast. But it's just started raining quite heavily. Just a short downpour. But that could be a sign of things to come. We just need some lightning, some thunder, some, some something. Something, yeah. Okay, so Do you hear that? That was a big rumble of thunder I've got my camera on continuous shooting. And it's just shooting a very simple shot down the coastline, but with lots of sky in the composition. And yeah, we'll just wait and see if we get a bolt of lightning.
This is by far, no exaggeration, the hardest photo shoot I've ever done in my life. It's stopped raining, it's finally stopped raining. But before, I was trying to film on the GoPro, it's absolutely chucking it down. There's bloody thunder and lightning going off all over my head. The fear, the fear's gone now. I'm not, I'm not worried anymore. I don't think I'm gonna get hit by lightning. But, Jesus! This is wild. Look at the sky behind me, above me there. And we've got the castle just on the headland. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I've got a composition because I've got this, this wonderful rock here. I've had to, I've tried to waterproof Try to waterproof my camera using this really rubbish. I mean, it's great. It, it water, you know, it makes the camera waterproof, but it is terrible for actually accessing the camera. I've had to shoot on autofocus because I can't get in and manually focus. Um, I'm using. I'll show you. I'm using like this, this like Lee uh, map box thing. I don't want to, don't want to sort of shoot, but it's like this. Um, almost looks like bellows. And what, that, what that's doing is it's allowing me to drop in filters and keep the rain off when the rain comes, which it's starting to do now. Uh, yeah, here we go, here comes the rain. Better get my camera bag all sealed up. So yeah, um, I've got filters on and I'm trying, desperately trying to uh, keep them dry, but uh, failing, obviously. And it's just hard, you know, it's really hard. It's the rain, it's the rain that's making it hard. I mean, look at look how heavy this rain is. It's ridiculous. Is this working? Let's have a look. Okay, so my filters are actually, they are staying quite dry. Filters are staying dry. Filters are staying dry, that's good. I'm totally, whoa, camera nearly fell over. It's because it's sinking. Right, I think I'm going to have to abandon this for now and I'll catch up with you when I'm more settled. All right. So just walking along the beach and I found this lovely composition. So you've got this beautiful sandbank which is obviously caused by the tide, which is why I love coming to the beach. And it's just being caught by the evening light as it breaks through the clouds. You can actually see my shadow. I don't know if there, yeah, you see my shadow here. Yeah, yeah, that's my shadow. Bit of a pain. I've had to um, put the uh, camera on a 10 second timer and then run out of shot and take the image um, but you still get the shadow of the tripod <laughs> in the frame which is a, a bit of a pain so a little bit of a little bit of photoshop get rid of that shadow and i think we've got ourselves a nice little image and i think it works especially well because we have the dark dramatics guys no filters f9 focused on the castle which is just there um yeah 10 second timer iso 100 run away from the camera job done. A lovely little, little image. I'm going to uh, keep walking on, keep looking and keep exploring.
You wouldn't believe it, but just as I was packing away, there was a lightning strike right over the castle. <laughs> Feels calm, but I feel like it could also kick off at any time. Hey, oh. Don't mind going for a swim. Yes. So um, I was going to go. I was on my way to leave. Um, and I just noticed all these wonderful patterns and textures in the sand and I had an experiment with a bit of a square crop image and having a play with all these different textures in, in the water and the sand and it's quite abstract and I got a quite a nice square image, I'll throw it on screen now, I didn't bother filming it um, but then it looks like there's another storm front coming in so I'm having one last ditch attempt, I've got a vertical composition Oh. There's some lightning. I don't think it was in my composition though. So yeah, I've got, let me show you, I've got a vertical composition going on behind me there. You can see the huge storm cloud. Um, I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to let it run. And then, uh, I don't know, as soon as it starts raining, that's me done because I've had enough of the rain. But that cloud is coming towards, oh, you see that? See that? Still don't think that was in my composition because I'm very much I'm more over more over this way. But uh, yeah, might get lucky. Last chance. Each exposure is a couple of seconds or a few seconds. I can't remember. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, that storm cloud's coming this way. It's going to bring the rain, but it's also bringing the lightning. If the lightning strikes in my frame, it'd be a magical way to finish because it's actually a really nice composition. Um, so I guess we'll just wait and see. It's gotten so dark so quickly. Jeez. Right, it's time to get off the beach. I think there's a storm coming. I got really up the storm. I know. Right there. I'm getting out of here right now. <laughs> it's very sketchy. This is insane. Okay, so you can't see me, it's so dark. Well there is one hell of a storm coming in, you can see it flashing, I don't know if you can see it flashing, oh god, it's a nightmare, right, I'm turning this off, I'm going back to the van because this feels dangerous. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh. oh my god! <laughs> wow! 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 Is this even focusing? Are we even recording sound? That. Oh, can you hear that? Wow! It's absolutely battering it down. I was so scared. It got dark so quickly. The rain was. I started walking back when the dark cloud came over. Sorry, when the dark cloud came over, I started walking back. And the rains that were unleashed was furious. I couldn't see, it felt like I was drowning, I couldn't walk. Um, I just went to the nearest building, like, luckily I could see some lights about half a mile in the distance and went and sheltered by that, it's a golf club. Um, sheltered and waited for the massive storm to pass. And then I had about a mile to walk back to my van, so I managed to sort of run back here. And this other storm's coming in now, you can hear it. There's lightning flashes going off every few seconds. It's insane. Honestly, hats off to people that do this. Seriously, guys, anyone that photographs storms have my full respect because this is just impossible with the rain and with the risk of being struck by lightning. There's no way. I wouldn't want to risk being out there right now with a camera and a tripod. It was so scary walking back. And it shouldn't even be dark, but it's pitch black. 
Um, yeah, this has been a fantastic experience um, and I'm definitely calling it a day now. Uh, I need to get everything dry, everything cleaned and I don't even know if this camera's working, if the audio's working, I don't know, everything's wet. So uh, thank you so much for watching, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, just yeah, subscribe because I always do stuff like this. <laughs> right, yeah, whatever. Oh, whoa, whoa, loads of lightning strikes. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Until next time, bye for now.